So now we come to the um, uh, operation computer, uh, which you can see there are four quarter screens here. Um, to load the sample, um, we need to first uh, come to the first tab on the right, which is the um, uh, beam control. As you can see, just click on it, um, or you can go to the sample exchange button, which is here. You can see the same um, interface, uh, similar interface here. So what you can do, you can click either button vent, either here or here. Okay, let's click here. Just simply click vent. Okay, you will pop up window to ask you to um, to confirm the venting process. Just click vent. And it will take about three minutes. Um, and why is so um, doing I uh, do some introduction to this interface here. If you look at here, this is high vacuum, low vacuum, and ESEM. We have three modes in this SEM: high vacuum mode, low vacuum mode, and ESEM mode. Um, for conducting material, normally we go to high vacuum. It has the best resolution. Uh, if your material is not very conductive, um, we need to use a low vacuum mode. Um, if you're working on a little wet sample, uh, which you need to discuss with us, um, you need to use the ESEM. The difference is a pressure difference. In low vacuum mode, we can go to from zero pascal to 200 pascal. And from ESEM, we can go to even higher. Um, yeah. So after you start the venting process, you can also see the green bar here. Okay, the green, um, the green will progress from left to right. When it comes to around this location, around this here, we are, um, uh, we are ready to open the door. So we just wait. So yeah, it was three minutes in total. We can also take a look around. So this is the first, the computer on the left. Uh, it's a main computer. This is the support for computer is for you to um, control files. And on the most right is EDS computer. Um, I notice uh, um, the internet has some issue which uh, at the moment, but in the future, we should be fine with internet with the middle of the, this middle computer for file transfer. And uh, but always um, remember to bring a USB in case the network is not working. Okay, let's come back. So it's almost there. If you look at this green bar here, it's almost there. Okay. It take a, a few more seconds. We're ready to open the door to start loading the sample. I'm going to adjust the camera position so you can see. Okay. Well, we can do it this way. Okay. To open the door, we come to here. Um, it's basically you just need to um, use the hand to hold this hole here. And just pause gently. The door will be open. Pull gently. We can see inside, but uh, never uh, adjust what inside. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so you can see better. Okay. So this is the inside of the. This is the inside of our uh, chamber. Um, 
here, it's a state. We're going to map the sample to this state. Okay. So in the sample here, we're going to map the two shadow one. So when you mount a sample, um, um, make sure your your holder, the uh, metal staff, and the sample will not um, exceed the edge of the of this uh, uh, stage, the uh, pentagram median. A little bit will be okay, but don't too much. Okay, a little bit like this will be fine. Um, yeah, sometimes we have to choose the right position because not all position is okay to go. So, yeah. So you see, we have, uh, if we look at here, you see, this is the pin stuff. We just simply push it in. Oh, if the user are only supposed to work on this uh, platform, not touching any cable inside, not trying to explore what's inside. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to mount this sample here. Maybe this one a little bit uh, past the edge is okay. You can mount another one here. Maybe. So yeah, for this metal star, we at most can mount two. Uh, the smaller ones, we see we have 18 holes here. You can mount 18 samples, okay? So after you mount the sample, make sure your sample has similar height. Okay. Um, you push all the way in, but many stuff, but the way in one mountain, you have to make sure um, the sample has similar height. Um, that I emphasize here, it will be much more convenient for you to operate, uh, especially if you if your sample happen to have a different height, like mount wise. Um, so you just mount the similar height ones you move to the next step next time. Uh, the sample exchange won't take long, so it will be okay. So after that, um, we're going to push close the door. So all you need to do, is just simply push the surface of the door, okay, in the middle. Okay, just simply push, push. While pushing, it's better uh, habit, uh, it's a good habit to check um whether your sample will crash inside i don't see any possibility but if you happen to have poor sample um you need to be very careful when you push the door in you estimate and if the sample will uh, happen to crash on any subject inside and we can also check from the uh the camera view okay so if you look at the camera, you can see view the live view of uh, the inside of the chamber. Um, okay, so you can look at there and you check here. Now we close the door. Gently and push, okay. Yeah, after close the door, okay, we all come back to the software operator. Uh, yeah. Just click the vent, uh, click the pump button, but make sure you choose a high vacuum. Okay, then click pump, and it will pop up a window to ask you to select. You choose no accessory. If we happen to accessory in, we will normally have staff to assist you, or we will put a note for let you know. So select no accessory. And after that, I suggest user to come to push the mid of the door a little bit to help to, in, um, to start in the pumping. Okay, after you hear the, the noise of a uh, pump, we are ready to just wait for the pumping. So again, you will see um, a green bar. Okay, again, you see the green bar, you will progress here. Um, so when it's all ready, you can also see here the chamber now is orange color. So when it's all ready, it will become green. So we don't need this window anymore. We just close it. While waiting for vacuum, uh, you can do something while waiting. Um, 
So, so now we just wait for vacuum. You can uh, while waiting for vacuum, you can start to check your navigation. If you click navigation here, um, we'll see the X, Y, Z, T, R. You can actually move the stage, but always make sure the uh, camera, the camera is uh, no green button here. The, the pause button is off. You need a live view camera while moving the stage. So yeah, you can type. If you look at here, it's actually this red arrow. I don't know why this phone here is very strange color. Anyway, uh, this is to you see Z. So while waiting for working to move the Z up, um, okay, you can change the position. Normally we change X, Y to zero. We move the Z up to move your samples, the top highest surface close to this 10 millimeter line. Um, okay, I show you in the next video.